In the late 1980s, in the city of Mombasa, Kenya, something truly terrifying occurred. It was nighttime, and I was driving back home all alone when I noticed a beautiful young lady standing by the roadside. She asked for a lift, but I couldn't understand why she was out there in the middle of nowhere by herself. Despite my confusion, I decided to stop and give her a lift. She said she needed to go home and that she couldn't find anyone late at this time, so I agreed to take her back to her place. As we drove, I realized we were heading to an unfamiliar and isolated area. It was a deserted road with nothing but darkness and emptiness all around. We drove for about 45 minutes to an hour away from the city. I became curious and asked her when we would reach at her place, but she assured me it was nearby. We had a long talk while driving and she seemed fairly like a normal person. Eventually we arrived, and I saw her house was in terrible shape. It looked old and abandoned, with nothing nearby just trees and overgrown grass. I asked her, do you live here? She replied, yes, I have lived here for the past 60 years, even though she looked much younger. When she got out of the car, she invited me to stay the night since it was already late. As I was already feeling tired, I accepted her offer without any hesitation and entered the house. I fell asleep within minutes after laying down on the bed, but when I woke up the next day I was terrified by what I saw. I found myself in a cemetery, sleeping between two graveyards. Panic surged through me, and I fled from that place as quickly as I could and drove back home. It took me a month to return to my normal life after this incident. Though the experience still haunts me to this day, and I've never stayed out late at night since then.